Well, good afternoon, friends. Please forgive my absence for so long. It seems like it's been forever. And, uh, yeah, compared to a lot of folks out there who are putting your things on YouTube, it has been a long time. Uh, anyway, Ted here. And just as a reminder, <laughs> I'll even wear my Paradise hat. There you go. Okay, I'm out of my deck. I've scrubbed the table. I've scrubbed the barbecue. I'm going to have company for supper. But in the meantime, time for a coffee break. So let's have an outdoor coffee break today. And I'm not sure what we're going to... Old Faithful, we're going to use Old Faithful and um, fire it up. And I'm going to use it in the can, that I, um, the soup can, a stove that I made for it. And uh, I thought I would just rough it. I'm not even going to brew coffee. I'm going to... I'm going to cheat, and I'm guessing that's maybe an ounce and a half or so in it. Sit it in here. Now, I'm prepared today. I even do have, get it centered about right. And let's see if I can get it to ignite readily. Okay, I heard it go. I know, cheating. But I'm sitting, you see. I do have my fair serum out. I've got the whole little kit that goes inside my Tokes uh, titanium 750 milliliter cup. And uh, like I said, I'm going to cheat with Folger's Cappuccino French Vanilla. Okay, let's put some water in here, shall we? And um, yeah, i got to look on this side to be able to really read. Okay. I know where it is. And uh, I thought I could visit with you while we're heating up some water. Now, I did bring along the windscreen if I decide that I need it. Um, I don't really want to. I'm just going to check and see how good an image you got, of course. I'm going to cheat a little bit. We're going to move the stove sideways about that far. I uh, think that, yeah. And it'll just sit there. Um, you've watched the stove. Nothing like watching a stove cook or boil, is it? Okay. Anyway, the winter. It was a good winter for me. Uh, any of you who have not traveled to Air southern, southwestern Arizona and southeastern California, well... You've missed out. Now this winter you missed out on cool climate. Uh, it wasn't the, the, the warmest it's been. We did have some warm days and that was great. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was, you know, too short. Uh, this year, um, and uh, anybody who's a traveler realizes you need extended health care insurance. Um, I had approval from my provincial health plan to go. But um, the, uh, the cost I was quoted was somewhere around $1,500, $1,600 for a short period of time, really. I have 40 days health care insurance with the Civil Service of Canada uh, through a, a plan that I pay for out of my pension check every month. And so that was, that was a good start. I flew home once. My neighbor picked me up, and I spent a few days here at home. And then she took me into the city, which is an, an hour, full hour's drive to my friend's place in the city, um, and dropped me off the night before my flight back to Phoenix, Arizona, and then to Yuma. Went well. I must head, hats off to uh, uh, American Airlines from Yuma to Phoenix in return. The little airplane that they were using was exceptional. It was a, 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 a turbojet. Um, how many people it held? I'm not too sure. Two people on each side of the aisle. It was comfortable. I had about six inches or so knee space, which is unusual for some planes, but it worked well. And so with that, you know, off we went. And it just occurred to me, you know, this pot might boil a little quicker if I put the lid on, don't you think? Okay. After all, the toke came with the lid. And I like it. I love this little outfit. And I, ha I did not take it south with me. 
I didn't take much south with me. Down there, burning uh, vegetation, dead vegetation, can get you a hefty fine if you get caught. So I didn't bother. Um, I did my Monday's ukulele club and spent a couple hours there every Monday. Um, out in the desert and traveling around and, and so did a bit of geocaching and just relaxing. Didn't realize I needed it, but I did. Anyway, I met some fine people from uh, Calgary area, uh, Wayne and Judy. They, they were a real blessing to me. Everyone, exactly everyone was at welcome at their campfire. And only times we didn't have a campfire was when it was pretty bad night. I'm hearing this flames acting a little bit here. I think what I might do then, I haven't introduced you to my inexpensive windbreak. I didn't make one. When I was making an order from Amazon, I think it was actually the order for, if I'm not mistaken, for... Uh, one of the things now we definitely I'm going to move the stove aside out of your way and put the shield around it sort of we don't even have to we don't even have to do much more than just that just to break the breeze yeah it'll stand there okay so anyway that was good milestones for me it was a it was while I was down there, I celebrated my first anniversary, my first uh, video on uh, YouTube where I comp had shared with you my uh, my IKEA hobo stove and the little um, uh, stove I imported from China. That seems like forever. So I ended up last year, if I got my memory correct, 30 videos I, I succeeded in, in accomplishing. Not all were great, and I apologize for that, and I hope it, this is better. I discovered I had an error in setting my, my uh, camera, and so this is a test to make sure I've got it set right. I'm going to be doing a, a, a special event tomorrow with friends, and so I wanted to make sure I had everything working properly. Anyway, um, and so it went. You know, uh, time flies when you're having fun, and, and that we did. Um, and so, anyway, uh, just preceding my departure on the 18th of December. Oh, I see steam. This this is a good sign. Okay. Um, 18th of December, I departed south, towing my uh, Camperoo tent trailer. And look at, of course it's hot. That part got close to the stove. And I'm just going to... No, I didn't bring a glove. Why bring a glove when I got this guy, right? Oh, still got lots left in there. There. So, um, I traveled south. And uh, actually, travel went well. Very well. I'm just looking for an easy opening corner. Don't see one, so I'll use my nail and tear it. So, as a result, um, I left the 18th, the 21st, I arrived in the Benson, Arizona area, okay, and I know this is not a good brew out of my favorite brewed coffee maker, which is um, AeroPress, and... Uh, but for a quick cup of coffee, it'll do just fine. Anyway, that's where I recorded Rachel's singing. And uh, what a blessing she was. Got a chance to visit with her. Out there boondocking all by herself out in the, in the mountains. I arrived in time that, uh, the, to pick up my motor home. The 22nd, yeah, I guess it would be the 22nd or 23rd anyway uh, picked up my motorhome and got it roughly set up for the just before the Christmas um, 
had a great time down there. Good people. Uh, anybody is going down that way that you want solar or you have solar problems. And if you're going near Yuma, Arizona, north of Yuma, into the California desert a little bit, um, I'll give you directions right now. If you if you need help, the best place I've seen anywhere. You take Highway 95 north from Yuma towards Quartzite, or if you're coming south from Quartzite, at Yuma Proving Grounds, there's two great big anti-aircraft guns and palm trees out at the highway with a big place that you can stop and, and uh, get out of your camper and take pictures and, and ooh and all the guns. You turn west there on the Imperial Dam Road, and you're going to pass on, the, on your left um, a beautiful museum collection of, of equipment that the Yuma Proving Grounds did trials on and such. And I suggest very strongly that you stop there for a break and uh, have a look around. And when you finish that, uh, continue westward. You're going to pass the two entrances to Yuma Proving Grounds. You'll pass the, the, their camping area they have for military people. You'll cross a couple canals and then and the, and the, uh, the Colorado River. Um, and you're going to find a road called Senator Wash Road. It turns to the right. It's a T-intersection there. And, and uh, so if you, if you get to the dam, the Laguna Dam, you've gone too far. But anyway, you turn right there, and you go up maybe half a mile, and there's a T-intersection, signs for the Christian Service Center and Solar Oasis. Make your left turn there, and go there about, I'm going to say, half a mile again. Make a right, and um, you'll see this, the sign for the Sol Solar Oasis. There you'll meet Craig and, and Sarah Beth, his wife, Phenomenal service they do there. Phenomenal. I'd recommend them to anyone and everyone. They have taken care of me wonderfully well. So, just a little plug for them. Anyway, so, it was a good winter. Um, good, Nice church family there, for those who enjoy attending services. And, uh, anyway, then I made my way uh, home uh, after that round trip flight. Had to get back home, so I kept my top, my winter the short this year. Anyway, back home, the snow is mostly gone. The snow drifts on the on the uh, north side of buildings or brush. Still a bit of snow drifts there, but it's clear night up. It was 15 degrees earlier today, 14 yesterday. So there you go. And I'm just going to, oh yes, I'm not used to drinking from titanium, so. Here's to you. Hopefully you enjoy a good coffee about now, too. Oh, that is good. Yes. I do like French vanilla and some other flavors. Um, the only thing is I find that they don't taste as nice if you don't have any cream or, or uh, sweetener in them. So, anyway, that's it. Now, plans for this year. Well, I have... Uh, the last week before I departed, one of the stores in Winnipeg, an outdoor store, was closing. The, na the national whole chain closed about the, about the 15th, I'm going to say, of December. I got two Alta Force. I got a hatchet, and I'll call it a camper's axe. Um, they're marked as being the classic on, on where the name is uh, embossed on the, on the, uh, the handle. Beautiful things, razor sharp, right from the store. And in the same t same time period, I had asked my son some months ago if he, because he likes garage sales, I wouldn't mind getting a hatchet because I have a hatchet down south and I just left it there. He brings me a hatchet, and it was rusted, so I use one of those wheels that you put on your drill. It's a fiber, a plastic, rough, rough thing. Um, I put in my drill press and got the rust off of it. And lo and behold, what do I find? It's a halter force. The same logo uh, that from researching online. Um, the uh, mark is not uh, indented deeply, their logo. 
and it said that's because it was uh, it was it was stamped cold stamped and it was and they were made between 1900 and 1989 I believe it was weird handle on it that I, I'd swear it would be original or at least it's very old it's not like any other hatchet handle I ever saw it's snug and tight so I I'm gonna do some pictures of it and share that and hopefully I can get some people especially from I uh, would presume Sweden or that really knows that brand to tell me more information on it um, and and how I could rejuvenate it and it's about in the pound and a half range the hatchet I got is a pound and I think the axe is either uh, pound and three quarters or two pounds about it mm, you know <laughs> I know you can't tell from that can you anyway that's what we got to look at this year the bushes still got snow in it wet we have a fire ban on already so I can't do anything except use an alcohol burner or a, uh, uh, one of my other stoves so we're going to rough it this year um, want to get some other stuff in and if it goes well tomorrow I'll have a surprise video to upload too, and that one will will be a, a a quick one. As far as I'm not going to take a lot of time to make it pretty, I want to share it um, and as quickly as I can. That one will be musical again, but something like you may never have seen before. At least I haven't taken part in. All the best then. I wish you well. Enjoy. Hey, if it's 15 degrees, I'll take it. Look forward to seeing you soon. All the best. Take care. Remember, any time is a good time for a cup of coffee, tea, hot chocolate, or whatever else you happen to like. Bye for now.